Welcome to ePoll 3.1 Pro. After purchase, you have to upload ePoll 3.1 Pro to your dashboard. If you have ePoll Lite, you have to deactivate that version and then try to activate ePoll Pro version. Now you will see over your dashboard ePoll Pro menu at left top side. Under that you will see ePoll Dashboard, Voting, Poll, Templates, Add-ons, Options, How to Guide, Support and FAQs. So, let's start with templates. We have it's a brand new version of ePoll 3.1. We have the base theme, which is called Matsya. And we have another theme which is under development, which will be available soon, which is contest theme named Kurm. Okay, so it is by default activated. We don't have to do anything here. Let's move to add-ons. We have six add-ons here, which comes free, of course, with ePoll 3.1 Pro. Now it's base add-on you can't deactivate because it's the engine of entire ePoll. So that one is Google Analytics for ePoll. It will send your voting event to Google Analytics. IP-based voting. IP-based unique coding with VPN detection It will enable unique coding based on network IP and will detect VPN connections. Email and SMS OTP base voting. This add-in will help you to trigger one-time password to voters via email and SMS. Where you will require a Twilio account to enable SMS OTP.